I've got a lovely birdhouse card to share with you today. Really clean and simple, but I just think it's really nice and elegant too. We will be sharing with you what we'll be using. I've got the A Little Birdie Told Me, and we're going to be using the sentiment, the birds, the branch, the nest, a few other bits from there. The birdhouse comes from the Home Tweet Home set, which is part of our necessities range. And we're going to be using the cloud from the Twinkle Twinkle Cloud and Stars set. And as a mat and layer, this big guy here, we're going to be using the double stitched rectangles. Okay. So I'm going to start with a piece of white card and I'll give you a quick measurement on this. It is seven and a third by, oh, just about six and an eighth. Um, and I've cut one, two, three, four, five of the clouds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue them um, kind of randomly around the top part of the card. Put a little bit of glue. In fact, let's just put some glue on a few of these and start getting them tacky. There we go. I like they've got some really pretty little stitched detail to them. So they're not just clouds that are plain and flat. You've got a really pretty little, um, just nice, nice edge to it I like. So I've got some glue on both of these, or all of these, so I'm just going to pop them randomly, some of them off the card, around the top. In fact, you can even snip it underneath a little bit if you like. Just going to put, so it looks like clouds are just kind of coming from everywhere. In fact, I'm going to do this one kind of up off the edge and we'll trim that. This one can go sort of off the edge like this. We'll trim that one and I'll do one more sort of down here. Okay, give that a little push and bring my scissors in. Um, it's probably easier to do this on a paper cutter so you have a nice clean edge, but We'll just do it with scissors this time. Pop that along. There we go. And that one. Not too bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring in my backing. I'll go ahead and put that into place. And since I've used some aqua card in our focal element, I've used a uh, mat of the aqua along with my white pierced edge that into place like that. There we go. Tidy up. We don't need that. Okay. So now I'm going to move forward. So I've used the um, double stitched rectangles. I'm going to go to the aqua one here and I've gone ahead and cut the branch out of tan. So what we want to do is add some leaves to that. So I'm going to bring in the peeled paint distress oxide and with a smoothie. We're just going to add a little bit of green to the, the leaves here. And that'll go right over that tan really nicely. There we go. That looks good. Just what I want. Oh, grab the heat tool. And I'll give it just a quick heat set. and it'll fade a tiny bit as it dries. So I'm gonna put this on with a little bit of spray glue. There we go. Pop that into place. And you can do this branch either direction, but I want it to come in from this side. So let's put it right about there, coming off the edge of the card. And I'm going to just trim that branch even. I, oops, like that. Try not moving it. There we go. Give that a second. We're going to do our birdhouse. So I've cut this out of tan and I'm going to add just the roof out of the chestnut brown card. I'll put that on with a bit of the fine line glue. There. And there. Put that right over the top. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to put the little um, fence on. Let me find where, I've, oh, here it is. Pop that in 
and I've done this out of tan so I have like a tonal look. A little bit of glue on the backs here. Get that and get that last little corner one. Pop that into place. Give it a little push. Okay. And I'm going to cut tiny little mounting foam for that. Put on the back. See if that'll fit on there. And a little piece on the top just to make sure it sits all nice and even. In fact, that's probably too big. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Put that on below our branch and then we're going to draw a little line so it looks like he's hanging. Right about like that. I've got a fine tip black um, marker and we'll just draw a line, just a little squiggly line. There we go. Okay. So now what I want to do is add the nest. Now the nest has a little slit in it so you can put some eggs and whatnot in it and I've got the little birdie. I think it might be easier, let's see if I do a little inking on him. Add a little vintage photo. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this back of this bird. I'm going to pop that right at the top of the slit. Tiny bit fiddly, but that should hold that. And I've got three of the smallest little eggs here, so we're just going to do a little bit of inking on each one of these and see if we can pop them in halfway in and out of the slit. There we go. Get that. Oops. And use this to poke in just so it's sticking down a little bit. There we go. There's one. Get the other two. Just soften the color a little bit with the vintage photo. that one in. There we go. And one more. Got to have three eggs. And a little bit of ink around that one. I think I'll just put that one sort of look over the top here. Don't want to get it too full. There we go. Oops, oops, oops. Little teeny eggs. Much better. And we're going to add that little nest to the back of our, or to the top of our branch. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just a tiny bit of ink around the edge with the vintage photo. Put that right about there so it looks like the bird is sitting on its little eggs. And I've got one more little flying bird, not quite as fiddly. Add some color to this one. And I think I would like to add just a little bit of um, broken china here to the belly. Bring in that same sort of aqua color. There we go. Just a tiny bit. Put the glue on this one. We're going to put him right up in the top corner like he's flying in there. And I've got another of the uh, double stitched rectangles here in white. So what we're going to do is pop that on as a mat behind this one. There we go. Oops, too big. There we go. Center that. And I'm going to go ahead and put that into the center and then we'll add our sentiment. I'm raising this one up so you'll have the clouds sort of in the background behind. Mm. Like that. And I've done a couple of the happy birthdays in white. I've stacked them up. Some spray on the back and we'll pop that right into this corner. Give it a little push, 
Oops. There we go. Let that catch. And there you have it. A really, really clean and simple card, but isn't that cute? I think anybody would enjoy a birthday card like this, don't you?